Hello everyone, welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. I am Hosanna David. I want to share with us a dream that I had. In case you are new, subscribe and follow me on social media, Biblical Sexual Purity. My YouTube channel is BS Purity TV. I had a dream and in this dream I was telling someone that God is offended when his children wear tight or revealing clothes that reveal the shape of their sex organ. If you look at uh, our society today, there are some people, there are some males, there are some females who wear very tight clothes that reveal their, uh, their private parts. Either the shape is printed on it or the, the things are so transparent that you could see even uh, things that you don't actually supposed to see. The human body is made up of some of some uh, public parts like our faces, our hair, our hands, our legs. These are public places, uh, public parts. I mean, but you also have private parts. Private parts are parts that shouldn't be exposed. And those private parts can trigger lost in people. I remember very vividly that when I was around 16, 17 years old, I used to have a three-quarter uh, tight. It was tight. Though it was a very thick material, it, it even had pockets, two pockets, one on the right and, uh, uh, and the, the other one on the left-hand side. So I used to wear it, though as an innocent young boy, uh, I never read any meaning to read. So I had a dream one day, and in this dream, I was told that the thing is too tight, that I shouldn't be wearing it as outer wear. But I stopped for a while. After a, a while, I resumed again. I started using it because I never knew what uh, the Lord actually meant. Uh, I never knew the extent to which it could affect people. Uh, even as a young boy, I was living in the village, not in the town. Um, I mean, real typical village, riverine area, and we used to swim a lot, swim in a, uh, in a lake. So we used to swim a lot in a river, so things like that. We used to wear and swim, and sometimes after swimming, we'll go home wearing the same thing. You know, so, uh, but what was actually wrong with that thing I was wearing was that each time I wear it, because it was very, very tight, my organ w was always printed on it because it was very, very tight. And I believe that was the reason. Not even I believe. The Lord told me in the dream that that was um, the reason I shouldn't wear it as outer wear, that I should be using it as underwear. I never meant that the Lord appeared to me and spoke to me in the dream, but the Lord used someone to speak to me. So after a while, as I was using it, disobeying the Lord, I washed my clothes, uh, saw them on the grass in the village, and when it was time for me to remove them, I discovered that only that one got missing. In real life, only that one got missing. So I was looking for it. I looked for it. I never saw it. So I forgot about it. After some months, I saw a little girl coming from the farm wearing the same thing. Though so it was it, it was unique, something I used for years. So I saw the little girl. I asked the little girl, who gave you this, uh, my nika? Who gave it to you? So she said, well, I saw it in our house and uh, I decided to wear it to the farm. That was how I lost it. That was when I was still young. I was very innocent. I never knew anything. I never knew so much about lust. Um, even then, I, I believe that the Lord was teaching me the standard of Christian dressing. A lot of us don't know how it affects people. A lot of us don't know that uh, it triggers lust. There are some of you who wear tights who wear pants and you don't see anything wrong with it. You put on bump shorts. You even saw men, they wear briefs, boxers, and uh, 
They don't see anything wrong with it. But what is underwear should not be used as outerwear. You are creating temptation for people. And the Lord Jesus Christ said that the things that cause, that brings offense, offenses must come. But those who bring them, they are subject to judgment. They will never go unjudged. The Lord is going to judge you if you uh, make yourself... Uh, Something that triggers lust in people. If people lust after you, you are going to answer before the Lord. Mind what you wear. You should be an agent of lust. When people see you, they should see Jesus Christ inside of you. I did a video in which I shared uh, a dream that the Lord gave to me. Sending people wearing tights. The Lord hates uh, wearing tights. The Lord hates uh, sensuality. When people look sensual, they worship uh, the flesh with their bodies, not the Holy Spirit. People don't give glory to God when you look sexy, when you look sensual. People will never glorify God. You shouldn't wear what you should wear in a bedroom when you are going to the market, when you're going to the, to the school, when you're going to the church. You shouldn't look like that. There are things that you should wear in your privacy or as on this, there are things that you should wear in the public. But we are living in a world where there is no rule today. Uh, everybody seems to do whatsoever thing they like and it is called Satanism. I've done some level of studies in Satanism, especially Levian Satanism. There is the law of Thelema. It says that do as thou wilt and that shall be the whole of the law. That do it the way you want. And that is the law. The way you want it, nobody tells you how you dress. Nobody tells you how you move. Nobody tells you where to go. Nobody tells you how to sit. That is satanism. But we as Christians, the Bible says, we pray that that will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. So we do the will of our Father. Jesus Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Jesus Christ does not have children that, that look like prostitutes. If you are looking like a prostitute, as a proverb said, that a lady, a woman, dressed herself with the attire of a prostitute. If you are dressing like a prostitute, you are a child of your father, who is the devil, and not Jesus Christ, who is holy, who has told us that in all our conversation, in everything we do, we should be holy. So even in your dressing, be holy, so that when people see you, they will give glory to your father in heaven. A lot of you argue that the Lord looks at the heart. He does not look at what we put on. Now, when people look at your heart, people don't see your heart. If you believe that the Lord looks at your heart, he does not concern himself with what we put on. But for the sake of people, please, for the sake of those who will see you and lust after you and take you to bed while you innocently, innocently, in quote, while you innocently uh, walk away, and people are thinking about you even at home, they will be lusting after you in their heart. Please, for the sake of those people who have the challenge of lust, do not wear revealing things. Don't reveal your thighs, don't reveal your sex organs, don't reveal your breasts, don't reveal your cleavages, and you men too. Don't wear, wear tight things that uh, expose your stomach, uh, your belly, uh, and also uh, your chest, the hair in your chest, you are tempting people wearing bodies, tight things, and expose your abs. You are creating a challenge in the hearts of people. You are creating a sexual, sexual battle. You begin to, when you appear, there's a way you appear and you instigate lust in people. You if, uh, trigger lust in people. It shouldn't be. We as children of God, we should not do things that will cause people to fall. Instead, we should do things that we uh, make people to be edified and to see the light of God in our lives so that they can give glory to God in heaven. This is the word I want to share with us. There are other videos on my YouTube channel and often on Facebook, BS Purity TV on uh, 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 YouTube and on Facebook and other social media, Biblical Sexual Purity. Visit my website. BiblicalSexualPurity.com. Once again, I am Brother Azana David. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye.